Hey guys, we have a uh, kind of a unique code reader here. This is a code reader by Topton. It's the Artie Link 500B, and this is a code reader and battery tester. And this was sent to me for review. So let me just read off here. It will test uh, 12 volt and 24 volt lead acid batteries, regular AGM gel and EFB. Uh, it does all your standard generic OBD2 uh, code reads. Got, got all uh, of your different modes here, mode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, and let's take this thing out of the box and let's, let's take a look at it. Now, the first thing I'd like to say is this thing's got some weight to it. For, for the size of the box it is, I wasn't expecting it to weigh what it weighs. It does come in a nice case, which is always nice to have a case to put all your stuff in. First, we'll get the unit out. Here's the unit. It's got like a, uh, a rugged, semi-hard plastic. Got good feeling buttons to it. And when I say battery tester, I don't mean it just tests the battery through the OBD port. It's actually got clips that hook to the battery. So, and we're going to do that. We're going to do the battery test. I'll hook it up, and uh, we're going to do a uh, just a scan and see how the OBD part of it works. And uh, then we're going to do a battery test. So first, let's get this thing hooked up to do a, just a code read. It's got a nice Velcro so that you can coil the cords up and uh, store them. The OBD uh, plug here got a button with a light. So if it's dark, that, you know, it's night and you're trying to figure out where the OBD connector's at, you can light it up to get it plugged in. That's a nice feature. There's the display. Of course, you got your. Oh, I don't think it's touch screen. I think you have to use the buttons. There's all the uh, I am readiness monitors. It does have two DTCs, so we're going to check those here in just a second. Exit out of that. Uh, let's go to. Uh, there's print. Let's just go to info. See what's under, under info. And hopefully that's coming through through the viewfinder. It's it's hard for me to tell whether it's clear or not. Now this is updatable too. I'd like to say uh, it's got a USB port. There it is. Lifetime free updates through Top Dog. Got your software version, so you can see you know what the uh, current status is as far as the software. Now let's click on help real quick just to see there's uh, about OBD, about data stream. Just click on one of these just to see what it says. So you got some good information. You know, if you're curious what ECT stands for and what it does, you can click on that and it'll, it'll actually tell you uh, you know what what it is. I am readiness. This fire all your different I am readiness uh, monitors there. Of course your setups, unit of measure, record mode, beeper. Let's go ahead and turn beeper off. I, I really don't like beeper. Uh, how do you turn it off? There we go. And you can uh, save information, then you can bring it back up and review it. Let's take a look at look up. Okay, so here's where you'd put in a code. So let's just put in PO340. Let's see what it has to say. Camshaft position sensor A circuit bank one or single sensor. So if you got a code, that'll tell you what it is. Okay, let's go. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. 
Let's go ahead and go back. Let's just do a let's read codes. Okay, 1404. So that's a what that is. So this is a generic code reader. Now I have not updated this yet. So this is right out of the box. No updates. It did pick it up as a 1404, which is probably a manufacturer specific code. So you would have to go to like Google or a maintenance manual to look up 1404 to see what that is. Now, if I updated this, that may have the information for a 1404. So let's go ahead and go down. There's a 1404 generic. That uh, does know that a 404 is a, a EGRA control circuit range slash performance. And then, of course, there's the 1404 again. And that's not found in the database. Again, this isn't updated yet. Uh, so, but it did, it was able to see that it was a 1440 or a 1404. Then, of course, you got erase codes. There's your IM readiness, which we just did. Uh, let's take a look at data stream. We'll just view all. So it's got 43 pages. We're on pay, uh, or 43 pins, and right now we're viewing 11 through 15, 16 through 20, 21 through 25. So, and you can select individual pins if you want. The, if you select the individual pins, it's, it usually gives a faster update than if you have all of them selected. View graphic items so you can graph. Let's go ahead and pick something to graph. Uh, let's see. Of course, I don't have the car running. So... Looks like it'd be a nice graph of, again, I don't have it running, so uh, nothing's going to move. But it looks like a nice, colorful graphing screen. Freeze frame, O2 sensor test, onboard monitoring, EVAP system test, vehicle information. There's the VIN, calibration ID. So... Yeah, as far as all your generic code reading, this thing is looks like it's uh, rock solid. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and do a battery test because I'm curious about that. So I'm going to disconnect this cable. Oh, nice long cables. Get it automatically booted up. Let's uh, get in here. Okay, we're in the car. We're about to do the battery test. So I've got battery test selected. Hit OK. It is a regular flooded. We're going to do the cold crank again mode uh, it is 800 cold crank you get battery so we'll just select 800 okay it's showing 62 percent health it's 73 percent charged up uh, the internal resistance is 4.7 mega ohm which is perfectly good and the uh, 800 cold crank yet which is what we put in I would hit OK or no I would hit back and then we're going to go through a cranking test start engine within 30 seconds okay cranking time was 827 milliseconds 
voltage drop went to 11.2 which is perfectly acceptable so now let's go back we'll do a charging test okay engine is running there's the ripple test that, that ripple was just slightly high but it, it was within limits keep all electrical appliances off increase RPM to 2500 Turn accessories on. Okay, headlights are on. AC is on. Charging normal, 14.49. Loaded. Unloaded, it was 14.3. And the ripple was 14 millivolts. So, there you have it. Uh, and then system test is just going to do all three of these back to back automatically. You you wouldn't have to select what you wanted to do, so that's all system test will do. So yeah, for a, for a nice uh, all in one battery checker and uh, uh, scan or uh, code reader, this is a pretty solid unit. And again, it's got lifetime updates. It is by Top Dog, which th they make a lot of good automotive products they're they're actually a very uh, respected brand when it comes to scan tools and uh, other automotive equipment so uh, this is brand new uh, I don't think you can actually buy this particular one right yet they do have the the 500 which does not have the built-in battery checker the B stands for battery so uh, I'll put the link as soon as it's available for purchase uh, I'll put the link to the regular one if you don't really care for the uh, battery checker you could go ahead and get the the regular one right now which is identical to this it just doesn't have the battery checker then as soon as the one with the battery checker comes out I'll put the link to it but uh, yeah this is a very nice and like I say it's got the bag and everything which is really nice it's nice to have a bag that you can put everything in and everything's always together when you need it anyway if you want a nice uh, code reader slash battery checker, this is this is the one to get. You guys take care.